Hello again out there in YouTube land. My name is DJ Alan Rocks, and this is my second jailbreak video. I've been playing Prison Architect for a while, and I've been breaking out of prisons for a while, and let's not kid ourselves. It's not hard to break out of a prison in Prison Architect. The prisoners are maybe a little overpowered. My last prison was a very well-made prison. This prison is not very well-made, but it is one of the most popular downloads in the last six months, and it's called Impossible to Escape. Well, we're going to see about that. Now, if you told me that the person that made this prison is a child, I would believe you. And if you told me this was their first and only prison, I would believe you. Just looking at it, I see a couple of different flaws that I can exploit. But here's something that I was totally not expecting. This is where prisoners are unloaded. Here. Can, do you... I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, is this really happening? And so, yeah, it took me a minute to just kind of come to terms with the fact that we're dropped off right next to the gate. Uh, that's a major choke point. I can just walk out the gate, can't I? I... You actually, you can't. I know that I've tried. So I'm gonna go the other way. I'm just gonna go take a look around and see what I can see. Oh look, there's a power station. Sniper tower, that's good. Now I'm just gonna stuck here at the gate. Maybe, maybe someone will open it, maybe not. Now I don't know if this is intentional or not, but medium security is on lockdown instead of sleep. And if you put your prisoners on lockdown, they don't sleep, and that makes them unhappy, so always put your prisoners to sleep at night. So here I am patiently waiting for medium security to go to lunch or something, but no. We're, we're on lockdown 24 hours. Well, I don't know if that's intentional, but needless to say, I got out, caused trouble, and here I am in solitary. Sometimes, you just gotta sit there and do the time and keep the reputation point instead of skipping and losing that point. So you can see that I'm building up my crew and up to my own habits. One of my favorite things is farming the classroom for points and look, I've been tased. So that was worth it. A couple of reputation points. I recommend you become tough and then strong and then deadly in that order and then instigator. So look how easy it is. Is this really happening? Back with making a run to the gate and tased, run over by an ambulance. So I've got one more idiot in my crew that's gonna make a run for it. Thanks for opening the gate for me and my first escape. But that's no fun. Let's see how many guys I can get out that gate. You know what I love about congested hallways? Once you start a fight, it becomes just a total bloodbath. Nobody knows who's throwing punches at who. Because this prison is poorly designed. And we're going to see all kinds of poor design decisions. As you can see, I'm already in Supermax, but it doesn't matter. There's no Supermax only section. As you can see, this guard patrols into my cell. It's like shotgun delivery service. So we're going to start some smack with him. I love fighting in doorways. And see if I can't get my hands on that shotgun. Thank you for bringing me your weapon. So now that he's down and out, I'm armed and dangerous. Why? Why would you patrol into my cell? And I'm in solitary. But not for long. So again, Supermax Prisoner, but there's no Supermax only section. And is this a staff room? It is. And look, I'm a Supermax Prisoner just chilling out. So let's grab that lighter and start a fire. He picks up the phone. Why the phone? Who am I going to call? Put that down. Get the lighter. No, no, not the phone. The lighter. There you go. Now let's pick up that lighter. Another major design flaw, if you're going to design a prison for human people to break out of, put sprinklers in it for crying out loud. So I'm just going to take this lighter, 
find a nice little quiet corner where there's no guards at, and I start a fire. Now, I don't know what's up with Prison Architect and fires, but it seems like if you turn your back on it, it just kind of goes out by itself or something, or if you just get punishments, it just kind of starts all over with the fire out, but that fire goes nowhere, and I'm very disappointed. Why are the door servos on crooked? Why are they sideways? They need to be turned. They're, the door servos aren't right. It makes me mad. I'm gonna farm myself for points. Everybody wants in here. Everybody out, this is my house. I don't want you here. Hopefully they'll send somebody with a shotgun for me. Did I mention that doorways are my favorite place to hide in? So here I am disrupting dinner. The staff only kitchen is good if you're making a prison that you don't want people to try to escape from. But if you're making a regular prison that you want to run efficiently, uh, that needs to be open for prisoners to work in. It also allows you to hire less cooks. So I don't know if the decision to make the kitchen staff only was a good choice or a bad choice. I see the power plant is in the security office. And that's actually not bad, but it shouldn't be next to the water plant. Power and water should not be side by side like that. So I'm making a break for it. I'm going to try to get my uh, my hands on the water pump there. If I can sprint and leak, all kinds of chaos will ensue. I wasn't so lucky this time, but I'll be back. Don't you worry about that. Here's the other power station. And then once all the guards are gone, I'm going to go ahead and let myself in there. It doesn't have much of a load, so I'm not sure what it's powering, but I don't care. I'm going to take it out anyway. Oh no, an armed guard! Well, that was certainly a surprise and easily taken care of. I see some guards have arrived, but that doesn't matter. Once the lights go out, the fun really starts. You know what I like more than fighting? Fighting in the dark. I see someone brought me a shotgun. I'm just going to go ahead and pick that up. I try to anyway. No, not that. The shotgun. Pick up the shotgun. I see everybody's hopping mad. The guards are going to be here anytime, and I want to be armed when they get here, but not with this. Workmen have arrived, but we're going to discourage them from fixing the power right now by killing them. I know that I mentioned prisoners are overpowered, and that one shot kill. That's really fun to have. So let's see how long I can keep the lights up. And I assure you, this goes on for a little while. Finally, I'm armed. Oh, and I'm tased just as I pick it up. Unlucky. So I decided to start a fight in the hallway because, why not? That's the issue with these congested hallways. If you're going to make a functional prison, you've got to have wide walking paths for people to make it through. Right back to the wall. The guards surround me. And I'm tased. I love the skip punishment button. So it's the middle of the night, let's have some fun. I'm gonna break my pals out of their cells here in Supermax. Oh, and look. Someone brought me a shotgun. Thank you for bringing me a shotgun. Now I'm armed and dangerous. Hey, what's going on over here in the staff room? Oh, we're just having a Bible study. Nothing to see here. Goodbye, officer. Stay safe. And we're going to light a fire. Now, because this staff room is kind of isolated, I think we can hold them off for quite a while. And this fire is going to get quite large.
So as you can see, this has been going on for a little while now. And here come reinforcements. Me and my crew, we're hopping mad. And that fire is raging. And this is going to go on for quite a while, actually. Keep your eye on the clock. Now that everybody's in custody and the fight's over, and I'm racking up my points, I'm watching this fire. I'm waiting for the firemen to come, and I mean, either they come in and I don't see them, or it just kind of puts itself out. So I'm disappointed. I'm kind of disappointed that, you know, I haven't started a riot yet. Oh, never mind. Here I thought I was losing my touch. You can also see that there's some workstations in the workshop that are inaccessible because this prison is poorly designed. But now we have a riot underway. You can see that maximum security is hopping mad. You would think that having armed guards would make your prison more safe. But it actually makes your prison less safe when I get my hands on their weapons. So, going back for the power, this isn't my first time or my last time going for the power source here. But I know with the riot, there's lots of guards busy cleaning up the mess. And I think that maybe I can get in here this time. The key is to just be persistent, push your way through the crowd, punch your way through the crowd, get in there and start tearing things up. You see that my crew's behind me. We're hopping mad and we're not going to take it anymore. Turning off the lights because there's nothing I like more than fighting in dark. But now I'm stuck with a real hard choice. That once this is over, if you just skip punishments, then all the damage gets repaired. And it's kind of pointless. But it's fun. So there's that. So I wait for a while. It doesn't look like there's going to be a fire. And the power's back on. So me and my crew, we're going to do this one more time. Hi, everybody. It's me again. Yeah. You know what's more fun than fighting? Fighting in the dark. And I think that's most of the guards in the prison probably are... Uh, on us right now. I don't think anybody's controlling them where it should be. Prisoners don't like it when the lights go out. It makes them mad. It makes them hard to cook. And look at all these dead bodies. I'm going to step into this office for a minute. Oh, thank you. Or not. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Where am I? So I just kind of had enough of this nonsense. I got somebody in my crew in maximum security, and we're going to join maximum security down here. And we're just going to go ahead and leave this poorly designed prison. Now, I don't know how this riot got started, but my intention is I'm going to clear the path, and I want to get everybody out. Not just my crew, but everybody. But it looks like there sure is a lot of guards, and if we're going to get out, we better do it now. Making a break for it, dodging and weaving the snipers. Don't even draw a bead. You can see riot guards stuck behind the ambulance. We could be bringing riot guards in, but no. We've got to load up the dead bodies first because this prison is poorly designed. Normally, I wouldn't even bother, but I made an exception in this case. That siren's going to drive me nuts. If you want to like and subscribe, you can. If not, don't, because I make videos that I enjoy to make me happy. I've been away from Prison Architect for a while now, but recently my interest has been rekindled. And I'm gonna make some videos, and if you're interested, check them out. If not, go check out somebody else's channel and do something that you enjoy. I'm DJ Alan Rocks, and I'm out.